Look at this, there are sheep on top of this house. I've never seen this before. Hey everybody, it's me, Asinelos, and welcome back to another video where today I am back with another Minecraft tutorial. This one is on how to find diamonds every time I'm in this beautiful location with a village, some sheep on top of this house. Look at this. Look at this. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Look at this. There's a house and the sheep have spawned on top. It's not just one. There are three sheep on top of that house. But now let's get back to the tutorial. So what you want, if you're here, you want to know how to find diamonds, how to do it every time. Let me show you. I've got three strategies to do this. I've gotten myself some basic stuff to start me off. I've gotten myself some iron pickaxes. If you play Minecraft, you should know that diamonds can only be mined with an iron pickaxe. And if you don't, you do now. And you need torches so that you can light up your cave and you don't miss these beautiful diamonds. So, with these basic resources, you can start looking for diamonds. But stop. Let's have a look at the theory. So, what you do is if you hit F3 then this thing pops up. These show you your coordinates. Why you need this is to know how low you are because diamonds only start spawning at a certain level. So what you need to do is you need to look at your X, Y, Z coordinates. These ones over here. You're looking at your Z coordinates. Mine are at 120. What it needs to be is 16. 16 is how low you need to go to see um, to find diamonds. So let me turn this off. And why I have put down this cave is because strategy number one out of three is look for diamonds in a cave. So currently I'm in peaceful, just so mobs don't annoy me. But look, this is why I need the torches. And look, I found iron already. So I've just gone in, I found a random cave, and I'm exploring it. So let's see how far... Oh, okay. So this is a bit of a letdown. This isn't a great cave. So what I can do is I can mine myself a bit of iron, make myself my iron pickaxe. So first I'll mine some stone, make a stone pickaxe. Uh, with a wooden pickaxe, I'll mine the stone. So, you know, it's a nice little progression, getting my achievements. And then, I need to move on. Obviously, this cave is not great. Let's have a look how how low we've gone. We, our Z coordinate is... Oh, my bad. I'm going to... My bad, completely. We're not looking at our Z coordinate. We're looking at our Y coordinate. So, 52. 52 is how low I am. So we need our Y coordinate. Make sure you're listening. Y coordinate is the one that you need. So 52, it needs to be 16. So what we do now is go on to the second strategy, which is pretty much dig down and dig down to the level that you have to go, but don't dig straight down. You know, that's, a li that's like a rookie Minecraft mistake. It may work sometimes, but often enough, you may fall into lava fall into a ravine, fall somewhere, you will just, quite likely, you will just die. Let me place a torch so you guys can see. And pretty much, often enough, oh, I hear bats. That means we might be near a cave. And so sometimes when you dig down, you find a cave. So you go back to method number one and you search that cave because sometimes these caves can be huge. So look, I found some coal already. And this is pretty much strategy number two. Dig down to the level of diamonds. And then you need to do one more thing. Let me show you. Oh, Look at that, that's why you don't dig straight down, because hopefully, you find a cave. Because the cave is the easiest way. The, uh, the bigger the cave, the easier. And looks like this is a ravine. So ravines are even better, because they're even bigger and have even more resources. So we have bats. If this had, if I had a difficulty on, there would be a ton of mobs over here. Doesn't look like this cave is too good, but I think that's because I'm not low enough yet. Let's have a look at my level. Let's see how low I am. So... F3, just reminding you, 29, so we're not quite low enough for anything good to start spawning. So let's keep going down and see what we can find. Likely there are bits to this cave which you can keep exploring and find really good stuff, but that's not what I'm too concerned about. So if you find a cave that's really low, sure, go ahead, explore it. It will be perfect. And if I put a torch down earlier, I would have actually seen that cave there a lot earlier and wouldn't have fallen into it. So... Just pay attention while you're mining because it can get quite dangerous. So let's just keep digging. Keep digging until we are on the level of diamonds. So we're nearly there. We were on 29. So we need 16. And even better if you're in between 12 and 16. Because in between 12 and 16, that's where diamonds are most common. So 16 and below is what you want. 12 to 16 is like diamonds will appear pretty much all the time. So let me check this. 
Let me check this. I should be almost there. I'm on 13. So this is one of the perfect levels. So pretty much, once you're down on this level, you can't find a cave. You can't do anything. What you can just do is you just keep digging in a straight line. You just keep digging. Keep on digging until you hit a cave, until you find diamonds, until something happens. You just hit. You just keep digging in a straight line. So let me keep digging, and I'll see if I can find something. Maybe I won't. Look at that. I've already found gold. Now, this is quite unlikely. This isn't the best method, and the last method I want to show you is actually the best. It is the most productive. It is the one which will give you the resources. But look, I found a nice little deposit of gold, and if you keep digging in a straight line, eventually you'll find stuff. So it's not that, you know, it's completely impossible. You will eventually find stuff, but it's not the most effective method. The best one is if you can find a huge cave which just goes down enough, goes down a ravine. I know diamonds tend to spawn a lot near lava, so that's good. But at the moment, this is a bit of a waste of time, honestly, because I won't find diamonds like this. I'm not getting anywhere. So let me dig for a bit more, see if I can find anything, and then I will return. Look at that, guys. I found myself a bit of redstone. Now, cool fact, if you hit it, it starts glowing, and it can light up your world a little. So I found some redstone, but still, you see, it's not great. I was digging for quite a long time before I hit this redstone, and you're better off trying to look for a cave. But... If you can't seem to get lucky, if you can't seem to get diamonds, let me go back to the start and show you the ultimate strategy for mining. So I am down here. The ultimate strategy for mining is when you literally search every block. Because over here, look, I'm only getting so many blocks. If you really, really, really want to find diamonds, this is what you do. You mine a straight passage down this way. You choose a section and you start digging. Oh, that's actually gravel. I shouldn't be using my pickaxe on it. But who cares? So, you just keep digging like this, you dig for a bit, you dig for a bit, you dig for a bit. Nope, nothing here, put down a torch or something, and you can keep digging further, it doesn't matter too much. Then what you do, this is the key part, you move two blocks across. One, two, okay, three blocks, so you move three blocks. Okay, sorry guys, so you skip two blocks, you go to the third one, and you dig again. So why we do this, and it's even better if you make it three high, um, even better if you make it three high because you get to search more area. Look at this. This way, we're only getting, every time we mine two blocks, or even three, we, if every time we mine two blocks, we only see one, two, three, four, five. What we're doing here is we're doing the same thing, then we move across two blocks because through this passageway, we can see all of these blocks. From this passageway, we can see all of these blocks. And like this, we can pretty much mine the whole thing. And if I'm currently on level 13, this is level 12, this is level 13, this is level 14, this is level 15. So if I dig up one more, I can see levels 12 to 16, the optimal levels for diamonds. I can see them all, and I am going to mine through them. So I just dig for a bit, dig for a bit, dig for a bit, dig for a bit, can't find anything, put a torch down, uh, put a torch down, yep, okay, and then move to the next part. So look, I've almost gone through a whole pickaxe, which is not really a bad thing. But once again, this method I tend to not like because it's a bit boring. So if you can be bothered doing this, if you want to do this, then this is the best way to find diamonds. Then it's caves, and then the next one is just jigging straight forward, which is a bit boring. But I actually, I'd say maybe even, I. this is the best way. This is the one where you know you haven't skipped anything. But I think caves are the most fun because you get to attack monsters. And wait a second, I just did the wrong thing. See, this is this is a mistake. This is Let me mine out this so you can see a bit better. Uh, just broke my pick. That doesn't matter though. So this is, look, see, I just found some redstone. That's exactly why I did get to. Look, I did the wrong thing because you can see this from this side and from this side. Here, you can see both walls. So look at this. I found some redstone. That's nice. And look, you see, because there's, really, there's resources everywhere. All you have to do is look around for them. So it's just a matter of practice. And really, I really want to find diamonds today. So I'm going to keep digging. And then I'm going to go down into the cave and see if I can find them in a cave. So make sure to skip to go to the third one. So don't make the mistake I just did. Like, it was completely by accident. I didn't even mean to do it. So maybe this is the last row. This is the best way. So it hasn't ever really worked for me, I've got to say. But trust me, this, you search the whole area. I'm searching all the optimal diamond blocks. It takes a long time. But if you keep digging like this, you will find diamonds eventually. You will hit them. You will get them. But for now... Let me go back into the cave, and I'll see if I can find any diamonds there.
I hear water. That means there's a cave somewhere nearby. Let me just dig out in every direction from here. And I'm just gonna make like a, a room. I'm gonna make a room until I find this cave. I Because I hear water. It could just be like a couple of blocks. But it could be like a big cave. So, you know, you just, you just gotta jump at things here. You just gotta experiment. It's getting louder. So really, this is a strategy I, I've never used before, is listening to your environment. Because you can sometimes hear mobs, hear stuff, and that's really what you're kind of, you can look for. And it, it's something that can really help. So guys, unfortunately, I could not find diamonds. Look where I finished. I finished over here, and I started past this village. This shows how far you can go in an underground mine. But guys, I think this village is the perfect place to end this video. I know I didn't find diamonds, but if I had gone on for a bit longer, there's my chest, there's the sheep. I'll do it with the sheep. I'll finish with the sheep on the roof. Stop showing me your butt sheep. What are you doing? I, I want to be with your face. Get your face in the scene. Yeah, like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please subscribe for more cool stuff. I hope this tutorial has helped you. All you have to do is persist, and then you will eventually find diamonds. Guys, if you want to see more tutorials, definitely tell me in the comments down below. But most importantly, what I want to do is see you all here next time. Goodbye!